In this video, I wanted to give you a little bit of a secret of the trips tied in about a fade route that you can utilize at a high level, specifically if you're running into cover zero or cover one, where there's no D path on the left side to defend this fade. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. So if you want to get better at the game, we do videos every single day to help you become a better player. So just hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe. Just keeps you up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on YouTube. We're in the New England Patriots formation today, talking about the trips tied in. Actually, I'm sorry, we're in the Detroit playbook, but New England's trips is very similar. There's only a couple of little minor differences um, between the two. And the play that I'm going to be talking about today is in both of those playbooks. If you want to learn my full trips tied in ebook, I would really encourage you to get into my patreon membership that's where we break down everything that's where i got all of my ebooks the cool part by being a member of that member of that membership you're going to be able to get access to everything so you get all of our offensive and all of our defensive ebooks you'll also be able to get all of our weekly pro tips just to kind of keep you on top of the meta and how and what you can do to kind of hang with the best of the best in the world and then also what you're going to be able to get access to is at any updates at any point to those guides as long as you're a member you'll be able to get access to that as well so if you want to sign up for the patreon to get access to all that stuff there's a link in the description if you want to check that out but what i wanted to do in this video is talk just just for a few minutes here about this route in trips tied in that i really haven't talked about a ton now um, i'm gonna jump into coaching real quick and just show something if you take a look here at the speed Mike Evans has 90 speed. Now, Scotty Miller has 94 speed, so just kind of keep that in mind. And the Packers, if you take a look at their corners, you're going to notice that Eric Stokes has 95 speed and Jair has 93. So they both have a speed advantage over Mike Evans, okay? Um, this play PA counter go has this fade route on the left that's one of the best fade routes in Madden. And I haven't really talked about it, to be honest. And honestly, because I really haven't had to, I haven't really had a hard time beating man until people started doing this one adjustment that I'm gonna show you right here. And that is shading their coverage outside and underneath. Typically that will also come with a quarter here to kind of help with this number three receiver. And this honestly has been one of the most difficult defenses for me to beat. And um, what I wanted to show you real quick, and we'll just actually, you know what, I'm gonna actually throw this up and then uh, kind of try to, you know, get batted down so I can get my double being deactivated. But what you'll notice with this route is if they are, let's say for example, that they're shading over the top. Okay, so there's, you know, give you a look like this and they're shading over the top. What you'll see here is that this fade will sometimes, not always, but sometimes will still get open against a shaded over the top um, coverage. Why is that? Because it has this really interesting little animation at the snap of the ball that is going to help it get open over the top. So let's say, for example, that you're playing someone that is doing a really, really good job at usering your skinny post against man, or it's just not even getting open against man. That's happened to me before. What I like to do with this, especially so that they can't inside quarter or outside quarter that trips tied inside, is we're gonna zig, uh, we're gonna zig Chris Godwin, and then, um, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're going to slant Chris Godwin. And then what we're gonna do here with um, Gronkowski is we're gonna put him on a smart routed in or a tight end apprentice post. And then what I like to do with Scotty Miller is you can honestly do whatever you want to do with him. Um, he's not like super, super important to this concept. So you can kind of do whatever you want. One of the things that I like to do is simply put him on like a, like a curl or a hitch or a smoke screen or something of that nature. So we're going to put him on a hitch and then, um, or not a hitch, but um, you could also put him on this uh, stop and go route. If you have hot route master, you could put him on a post. If you have hot route master, a crosser. If you don't have hot route master, then you can just put him on something very, very simple. It doesn't have to be complicated, okay? Um, one of my favorite things to do is put him on a smart routed in. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to motion Scotty Miller um, to the right or to the left. It's up to you, either one's fine. Just kind of based on what you want him to run. But you see here, we're gonna have this kind of like Y cross concept to the tight end. But what's really cool is this left side fade. Now it has to be manned up. And if they're shading underneath and outside, a lot of times you'll see as soon as he gets on top of that corner, you can lob that up and pretty much bank on the fact that you can, you can rack catch that 
fairly consistently um, against a corner, even if that corner is faster than you. So again, I'll show you this one more time, and then we'll talk a little bit about the rest of the concept. So, you know, again, I've got, you could if you wanted to, um, you could do, you, you don't have to do the exact setup I'm saying with the posts and stuff. That's kind of like whatever you want to do. I really wanted to focus on the fade. But another setup that I really like is zigging Godwin, leaving this out route to the tight end, and then using a motion slant. So something like this right here is really, really effective. Um, but again, you see how he gets on top of him. And this is primarily, and Brady's gonna give me a terrible throw. Um, and of course I totally screwed up the user catch. But Brady, um, but what I like about this is like I said, it's gonna get on top of the route. It's one of the only fades, at least in my opinion, this year that really does a good job at getting on top um, of the route. So I'll show you something else you can do. If you wanna leave this crosser right here, um, you can. The one thing I will say about this crosser is, you know, it's actually not terrible, um, especially when you have this little tight end out route. You can kind of do something like this too. This is fine. But again, I just want to focus right here on this. You see, I can also do a secure catch. That secure catch is going to mean like if they have deep zone, deep man or deep route KO in their man coverage, a lot of times that's not going to be very effective. Now I want to show you in an in inside shade. So if they shade inside and over the top, I'm just going to show you kind of what that would look like. Now, of course, your out routes and all that stuff will be open. You'll see he still is going to get over the top of that outside shoulder, but you see that Stokes is much, much better at being able to hang with this route. Okay, so that's just something that to, to understand. Um, if he doesn't get on top of the route, that typically is going to mean that most of your other concepts on this play are going to be open. And then, now right here, this is just a shaded um, like a straight up shaded down you see here he gets on top again and now again I can lob that out there I'm doing a terrible job of you got to click onto the player and kind of shield from that happening um, but anyways and I'll show that one more time you see the concept and like I said this is really good and what makes this so good is they can't just they can't just use her the post you know what I mean like they can't just go from the slant to the post and lurk you this is gonna they, they really can't use her this i mean and what you'll see here is you know again if you ever get if you ever get in trouble like that that's more of kind of your signal that they're not shading outside and underneath so when they're not shading outside and underneath and i'll show you that real quick so this is just like a standard cover one robber let's say that they you know they don't want to get burned so they shade over top now everything's open now your zigs open now your out route will be open i mean everything so you see here my whip route will be open against that coverage. And I mean, you just see it, it becomes the whole, everything else changes. When they can't get the press, that's where things start to shift. And so this is another, you know, again, just a simple little thing that you can do. One of my other favorite things to do here is put Miller on a flat and actually slant Godwin this time. And the only reason why I like that is because if this, this slant, if you use this flat route, you'll get kind of a little bit of a glitchy animation. A lot of times this will get over the top and cook the man to man coverage over the top in that regard as well. So those are some little just kind of nuggets about beating man. One of the things that I think is really hard about Madden 22 is the fades don't always get open against man, um, especially even when the even when they shade down underneath. Because this fade is on the line of scrimmage, that significantly helps its chances um, to be able to get open against this. So, you know, again, you have this, and like I said, he gets on top. And then now, like I said, you can kind of look to your other stuff. Of course, the cover on Robert Yellow plays insane, but you see the idea. Um, and then what, what you can also do off of this, if they really truly are shading outside and underneath, that's the only reason why I didn't want to run this tight end on an in uh, an out cutting route. So if they're starting to shade outside, you want to run inside cutting routes to beat it. So for example, one of my favorite things to do is this right here, but I just don't want to have, you know, the quarter stuff happen. So whenever I go to motion, I can now take, you know, this guy across and put him on, you know, really whatever. Um, here, this will be a, a zig. This zig right here is actually really good. You see it a whip and cook man, just like that. So something simple like that. Um, smoke screen and then you can play maker is really a good route. One of my other favorite things to do, and I'll show this real quick. Um, but one of my other favorite things to do out of this, if I'm getting a lot of this man to man stuff, I love this concept right here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put my running back on an in. You could also put him on an out, in route or out route. It doesn't matter to me. 
but what you'll see with this is when we motion triangle we're gonna just we're just going to block him right here so now we'll pick up pressure just like we have a tight end um but you see now i have the fade concept and they can't run their match stuff or their match principles so those are some simple things that you can do to kind of get them out of the shaded underneath stuff i just think this fade is really a lot better than people realize and um you know again like i said it, it's not it's not just a you know it's not like verticals it, you see how the fade that's the fade from verticals if you look at the fade from pa counter go you're gonna see it's just slightly different and just a little bit better and from what i have found um you know you can you can really get somebody with something like this over the top if you have you know a good quarterback you know a lot of you probably have the joe namath card and mutt that's who i would recommend um, and as you can see, you're able to cook man to man over the top if they're shading underneath. And again, it's a read. If they don't have space, if he doesn't have a step, don't throw it. Check it down. Look for something else. Utilize some of the other concepts I talked about in this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about Trips Tied In, I would really encourage you to join my trip, my Patreon membership. By becoming a member, you're going to get access to all 25 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. And in addition to that, you're also going to gain access to all of my exclusive updates, weekly pro tips, and guide updates that we release pretty much every single week. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description that you can click on that'll take you over to the membership site and you can get signed up.